everybody, good morning. Welcome back to Jiu-Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm coming at you with an interesting video. Today, I have some water that I got from a local water source. Found a little stream, picked up some water. Now the water appears to be pretty clean. That's because we did uh, some filtering when we picked this water up. The stream was already pretty clear in its own way and like I said we filtered the water but I'm concerned for the quality of this water to be able to drink and what I mean by that is it's not purified yet now I do have a pan and that would normally be one of the normal means that I would use to purify the water I would either boil it in a, a bottle a stainless steel bottle or I'll put it in a pan and and boil the water over the fire for at least five minutes but today we're going to practice this, a different technique where we're going to pretend that we don't have a pan to boil our water. We're going to use this plastic bucket. Okay, we're going to pretend that this is a survival situation and this is all we have. These two items. Now you're going to see the pan at the fire, but don't worry about that. We're pretending, right? We're doing a survival scenario. So anyway, I'm going to put my water in here and I'm going to show you how to boil in a plastic container. This technique that I'm going to share with you today can also be used in a trash bag, you know, plastic bag. So stay tuned. Okay, let's get started. While I was at my local water source, I picked up a series of rocks, okay? I like to have these rocks about the size of a golf ball or just slightly larger. This size right here is pushing it on the large side. I'm going to collect these rocks. Now again, I wash them, you know, I got the dirt and debris and stuff off, the, off of them as I pick them up. And I got, I think I picked up about a dozen rocks or so. So I'm just putting these in this container. And I'm going to take them over to the fire. Okay, everybody. Here is my fire pit. Here are my rocks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of expose some of these coals. I'm going to throw these rocks right in the middle of the fire. I'm going to heat them up. And at this point, I'm going to beef up the fire right on top of the rocks. So I'm going to get me a good fire going. What my objective right now is, is to heat these rocks. I want to get them really good and hot. So I'm just laying down some wood. It doesn't matter if it's hardwood or softwood. Preferably wood that does not have a bark on it. Although that's not all necessary 100%. It would just be a little bit nicer if it didn't have bark. So I found a lot of wood around the area that doesn't have bark. That's because my plan is to try to keep the rocks as clean as possible, for the most part. After all, we are going to be drinking the water later. I like to use a small hose, a piece of plastic hose, so that I can get air underneath the fire when I'm rekindling the fire. I don't like leaning my head down there getting all close. This is a good technique that I like to use because it saves time and I don't have to get my head down all up in the smoke down there. Fires generally when you're trying to get them going again they want oxygen from underneath so it's good to blow low on the fire. So I'm going to get this fire going. I'll see you guys in a minute. 
Okay, there's my fire. Got a nice fire going. Now I'm going to let those rocks heat in that fire for quite a while. Probably half an hour, something like that. I want them good and hot. See you in a minute. Or should I say a half an hour? <laughs> Okay, that fire has sat on those rocks, those coals, um, for quite a while actually. I went and took a little nap and just kind of chilled and uh, my daughter stoked the fire probably twice while I was kicking back. So those rocks have been underneath that fire for probably about an hour or so. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this bucket, hope you can see that, this grid is not too hot, it's away from the fire. And I'm gonna pour some water into this bucket. However much you're ready to drink at the time, or however many, however much water that you want to purify. I'm doing about a third of this. check and see okay the grids nice and cool to the touch over there I'm just gonna move that water there now what I want to do is I want to take a couple sticks and I want to kind of push the fire away from the rocks and my plan is to try to get these rocks out of the ashes as cleanly as I can okay there's a lot of ash in there and there's a lot of stuff and debris and stuff in there so I want to try to get them out and I'm gonna bring them over here temporarily and just kind of bang them against the rocks over here to try to knock any debris any dirt dirt or ash or anything that might be on them I want to kind of clean them up as much as I can okay you don't want to get wasting too much of your time doing it but try to get them clean as clean as you can anyway because when we put these rocks in the water, it's going to put that debris in the water. So, I'm just trying to clean them as much as I can. And when I get them where I feel that they're as clean as they can be, I'm going to bring them in and just drop them into the water. Now, you'll notice that the water is going to discolor. That's normal. That's part of this process. Kind of bringing them over here, trying to knock as much debris off of them as I can. Drop them in, and if you notice down in here in the water, you can see already with two rocks that it's already starting to boil. And it's not affecting the integrity of the plastic because it's the water heating up inside so I'm going to continue, I'm going to add a couple more I like to choose this, this size of rock for two reasons, one they heat up fairly quickly and they're not real hard to get a hold of as far as finding them Kind of rolling them around, knocking whatever I can off of them. That one just broke in half, but that's okay. It's not going to affect our water. Now you're probably wondering, why did you go from having some clean colored water to some dirty colored water? Why would you drink that? Well, the reason I'm doing this is because that clean colored water that you were looking at that water was probably full of bacteria it was probably full of viruses it may have had E. coli in it might have had Giardia Cryptosporidium 
and all of those bad things but by putting these hot rocks in the water I am purifying the water you can see there it's boiling I'm purifying the water and so what that means for those of you who might not understand what that means is that's killing all of those things that I just named cryptosporidium, giardia, all that stuff. It's killing it. Now you're probably concerned, some of you might be concerned about, well this water is dirty looking, it's crazy looking. Well you're right, it is. But it's totally safe to drink because it's purified. You zoom down in there and let you look at it a little better. You can see down there that the water's boiling. Got a lot of steam right now. See that thing is a rolling boil right now. Inside of the plastic and I don't really have to worry about the integrity of the plastic going away. Because again the water is absorbing the heat, not the plastic. Let's do one more. I'm gonna put one more rock on the grid here. See how good that boil is. get a closer view. I'm going to take this camera off the tripod for a second and give you a better view. So that's what it looks like. You can see we're stone boiling right inside this plastic. Like I mentioned earlier, you can do this in plastic. You can do it in a trash bag. You can do it in just about anything. And I just moved the water. So I'm going to just sit here and let this boil and let these rocks cool down. Yes, you can see there's some debris inside. That's okay. Water that has some debris that's been purified is much, much safer, again, than water that has bacteria, E. coli, Giardia, Crypto, all that stuff. And if you don't understand what Giardia and Cryptosporidium do, is they'll give you problems with your stomach. What I mean by that is if you were in a survival situation and you get Giardia or Crypto, you'll vomit and you'll have diarrhea and all of those fluids will be exiting your body and so therefore the, the result, the end result of that is you're going to be more dehydrated than you were before you started. Now if and again, some of, some of the people that are out there watching this video might think, well, that water's discolored. That water looks nasty. It looks dirty. But let's not forget that it's purified. It's clean to drink, okay? And it's all about, it's all about staying hydrated out here. And that's what this water will do for us. Yes, it's discolored, no doubt about it. But so is coffee. So is iced tea. Soda, all that stuff is, is just discolored water. It's nothing different than this right here. So I'm going to let this cool, and I'll be back. So I'm just sitting here waiting for this to cool. You can see that it's still got a lot of steam. Now once it starts to cool a little bit, I'm going to remove those rocks out. Right now they're probably too, too hot to my touch. Yeah, I just felt that it's still a very hot rock. And when I remove them, I want to remove them with clean things, you know, as clean as possible, like the bottom of these sticks or something. Something that's clean, that's not going to add more floaties into my water, more debris. Okay, let's take a look and see. These things have sat for about 15 minutes. Yeah, they're nice and cool to the touch. 
I'm going to just throw those rocks right back into the fire. Right back so they can start heating again in case they need to purify more water later. So they're just going back in the fire. And that right there is the water that we would drink. Now if you're worried about those floaties and things of that nature, just take yourself a piece of t-shirt material or something like that, pour it through and do another quick filter to get rid of the debris. But this water is perfectly safe to drink. I'm back everybody, I have a small container. I have my purified water. I'm set that purified water aside for a second. I'm going to take my container, make sure it's clean inside, and right here I have just a towel that I've had around camp. I'm going to use just the corner of it, lay it right over, pinch it down a little bit. I want to create a small divot because I'm fixing to pour my water in here that I've just purified, and my hope is that I'll get rid of most of that debris. So I just pour it through. I let this filter out all the debris. The, the water is still going to be discolored. So this ain't going to help for that. But it's just going to get the debris out. Make it a little more pleasant to drink. This is just a dry towel that I had sitting around camp. As I'm pouring, whatever debris ends up in the bottom corner of this container here that I'm touching with my finger, don't pour that into your towel. Just leave that debris in there. I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a second. this debris that's in the bottom of that container that's the debris that I'm talking about don't pour that into your filter you can see that I've caught quite a bit of material out of that water and that's just that's actually not that bad I've seen much worse but you can see everything that it's held out now you look down and you see my water in there Yes, it's a little discolored, but that's excellent for drinking. So anyway, I want to say thank you everybody for watching. Please feel free to like this video, share it, thumbs up. If you like the videos, the types of videos that you see on my channel, feel free to subscribe. I'd love to have you. Now I'm going to let this cool a little bit, and it's actually fairly cool to the touch. It's about, oh, about as warm as coffee right now. I'm going to give it a drink. So anyway, we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Have a beautiful day, everybody. Bye-bye now. Give this water a drink. need to adjust my camera. Bear with me. Ooh, that's not bad at all. That actually tastes pretty good. Stay hydrated. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this at all. It's still a little bit warm. It's not hot, it's just warm.
So again, folks, don't let the discoloration fool you. Have a beautiful day. Bye.